towards the end of the program. Running at its maximum RPM, which is 6,000. You can hear it, of course, it's really humming. Trying to see that thing going. up there. Let's do a tool change. with the door see here it doesn't line up perfectly that's probably when I moved it something did hit right there I don't know if you see that but anyway with one hand it's a little harder to close but it closes it just takes a little bit and I never tried to undo it you could see just a little bit of the nick here and I don't know what else happened over here or over here, but I just wanted to show you that so you know. But it takes a little, you know, it's just up here. See here, it just doesn't line up perfect. You gotta kind of go like that. And that's what I wanted to show you is uh, cool it. There it is there. With the auger, uh, what is it? I got chip forward. That helps bring coolant out. Put a hand drawn. X axis, let's go. That. Got a little wheel. set up the other one with it. And over here it's pretty messy. Uh, I was in a hurry and I have not cleaned up over here yet. That's about it. I'll see you in a couple hours tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, wait a second. Let's go, let's see if I can remember how to um, uh, let's see There we go. Here we have a screen that shows power on time. So 1800 
in 70 hours it's been on cycle start time over here 334 hours cycle start feed cutting you know 183 hours that's about all the hours it has for feed cutting uh, I don't know what else I could show you here Everything else. Feed time. I don't really know what that even means. Oh, that's on each tool. That's right. Okay. So we got, uh, you know, 26 hours on tool one. And then, you know, you can see the rest of the screen over here. I don't know if that focuses well. Spindle load, here we go. There's a spindle load page. As you can see, I'm not 100% familiar with it. I just don't use it enough, so... Kind of gives you an idea. Hope it helps.